So thanks very much. And you know, there's absolutely no question that we have a housing supply problem in the county of Marin. But to me, that does not in any way excuse the extraordinarily large increases in rent that our uh, residents have been suffering and that it's making it very challenging for all of us as employers to retain and recruit, recruit our employees and that is obviously exacerbating our traffic problem. I think one of our speakers, David Schoenbrunn, said it best when he said the aim of just cause eviction ordinance is to restrain the predators. I think that's absolutely right and I think the same is true for man mandatory mediation. Um, and I would note um, that the, I believe the suggested trigger uh, for mandatory mediation was a 5% rent increase. I think that's appropriate. It was not a 10% rent increase as some of our speakers thought. I think both of those steps are ones that, uh, that the mandatory mediation and just cause uh, are important steps for us to take. And I think, you know, I'll note that in our staff report, I really appreciated the amount of information and data in the staff report. And there's a table that indicates five jurisdictions in California that have just cause ordinances without rent, a rent stab stabilization program. That's Emeryville, Glendale, Maywood, San Diego, and Union City. I don't think we have a good sense of how successful a just cause ordinance can be without uh, rent stabilization, but I think it's really an important place to start. And so I'm not going to go through all seven of the recommendations individually because I, I support all of the recommendations by staff. And I really look forward to staff uh, working in these various areas with the full engagement and uh, under the direction of our board subcommittee. Thank you. Thank you.